So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to your time. So now those broilers, they've been moved. I have moved them from the ground to the cage and today they are 17 days old. That's one week, um, two weeks and three days. And as you can see, I moved them yesterday in the cool of the evening. So what I did was to withdraw the feed and give them um, water. As at yesterday, they were on um, Cosidiosis medication. So now I've moved them to the battery cage. And as you can see, these are the birds at 17 days old. You can see that they've acclimatized as fast as possible to the cage and they are drinking water. Now, I'm still going to continue with my Cosidiosis medication for today. I'm giving them for two days only. Remember when they were on the ground, they were showing symptoms of Cosidiosis. But since I brought them here, if you take a very good look at the droppings, you see that the droppings are solid. You see the droppings, they are solid, except for some few um, droppings except for some few droppings that are light brownish stuffs like that so now i'm just going to give them the medication for today and that will be all after today they are going to take um vitamin awaiting when they will be given the third dose of lasota vaccine you can see that they are very okay the droppings are okay the bears they are eating well and they are tapping from the nipples drinker um actually i made this construction myself just to um to improvise and what i did was that here is the drinker here is the drinker so what i did was to do some manipulation so that this thing can be extended you can extend it so if the the bigger they grow and um the bigger they grow then all i just need to do is to raise this place up it's adjustable so this um line can then go higher you can choose to take it higher or you can choose to take it lower unlike lame bears that are just fixed at the the top as if they are lame bears and they are bigger bears it would have been at the top here but because they are very small bears, that's why i just have to do it like this so that it can be adjusted now this is the medication i'm going to give them this is um like i said earlier i use kepcos for cosidiosis it's very effective so that's what i will i will do and this is the tank this is where i will mix i'll mix it first before pouring it inside the tank So this is it. So and one thing I must tell you is this. If you don't have your own space, like you don't have your own residence, it will be difficult for you to do something like this. It will be very, very difficult. It has to be your own space. So this is the best way to mix your drugs. You first of all dilute it with small water before you now pour inside the container for proper mixing. So now I'm going to lock here first. I'll lock there first and open here for water to go in. Now water is entering. So all I just need to do is to shoot it a little and pour this inside. So while the water is entering, it's mixing. I don't need to put my hand inside, but I believe it's mixing now. So that is it at 17 days old 17 days old these are the best and um, I'm going to do a summary 
of all so like as i was saying that if you don't have your space like you don't have your own personal residence you cannot do something like this on it because your landlord if you are in nigeria your landlord is won't allow you that just it your landlord might not allow you it's possible that the landlord will not allow you but if you have your own space at your backyard then it's good to go so far so good they've consumed two and a half bags of feed anyway i'm going to make a summary of the feed they consumed and all it entails so thanks